suspected of being the leader of Mexico's most notorious drug cartel boarded a plane on Thursday. He thought he was flying to inspect some property. Malin said the plane landed in the U.S. and he was arrested by the FBI. Ismael El Mayo Zambada Garcia, commonly known as El Mayo, is one of the most influential and enduring figures in the Mexican drug trade. His career spans several decades and is closely tied to the rise and operations of the Sinaloa Cartel, one of the most powerful and notorious drug trafficking organizations in the world. Ismael Zambada Garcia was born on January 1, 1948, in El Alamo, Sinaloa, Mexico. Growing up in the rural regions of Sinaloa, a state with a long history of drug cultivation and trafficking, Zambada was exposed to the drug trade from a young age. He initially worked as a farmer, cultivating crops such as marijuana and poppies, which are used to produce heroin. This early involvement in the agricultural side of drug production laid the foundation for his future in the narcotics business. El Mayo's ascent in the drug trade began in the 1970s and 1980s. During this period, he established connections with key figures in the drug trafficking world, including Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo, who was then the leader of the Guadalajara cartel. Following Felix Gallardo's arrest in 1989, the Guadalajara cartel splintered into various factions, with El Mayo becoming a prominent leader within the newly formed Sinaloa cartel. The Sinaloa cartel, co-founded by El Mayo alongside Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, Hector Luis Palma Salazar, and others, quickly grew to dominate the drug trade in Mexico. The cartel is known for its sophisticated operations, which include the cultivation, production, and distribution of various narcotics, such as marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin. El Mayo played a crucial role in the cartel's expansion and operations, leveraging his extensive network of contacts and his strategic acumen. Unlike many of his contemporaries, El Mayo has maintained a relatively low profile, often operating behind the scenes. This discretion has contributed to his longevity in a dangerous and volatile business. He is known for his strategic thinking and ability to form alliances with other drug trafficking organizations, both within Mexico and internationally. These alliances have helped the Sinaloa cartel maintain its dominance over rival groups and expand its influence globally. Over the years, El Mayo has faced numerous challenges, including turf wars with rival cartels, crackdowns by law enforcement, and internal strife within the Sinaloa cartel. Despite these challenges, he has managed to adapt and survive. His ability to stay out of the spotlight and avoid capture has been key to his enduring influence. While many of his peers have been arrested or killed, the Sinaloa cartel has faced increased pressure from both Mexican and international law enforcement agencies. The capture of El Chapo Guzman in 2016 and his subsequent extradition to the United States left a significant leadership void within the cartel. El Mayo's role became even more critical during this period as he worked to maintain the cartel's cohesion and operational capabilities. El Mayo Zambada's legacy in the drug trade is marked by his longevity, strategic acumen, and ability to adapt to changing circumstances. As one of the last remaining major figures from the early days of Mexico's modern drug trafficking era, 
His story provides a unique insight into the evolution of the drug trade in Mexico and the persistent challenges faced by law enforcement in combating powerful and resilient criminal organizations.